gosh, Pinky, sup? Hey, no worries. I know those guys. They're cool. If you say so, Spike. Catch you later, bro. Seems they took me by mistake. They feel awful about it, too, poor guys. Fortunately, they totally respect dragons, so they treat me like an honored guest. Still don't like ponies much, though, but they're with me, so it's cool. Um, hey, I've got a much better idea. will allow the apple orchard to stay in exchange for a share of its fruit. Most delicious apple pies. Then this is our fault. We three tribes. We brought this blizzard to our home by fighting and not trusting each other. Now it's destroying this land too. And now our bodies will become as cold as our hearts. All because we were foolish enough to hate. Well, I don't hate you. I actually hate Commander Hurricane a lot more than I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I don't really hate her. I just really, 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 really dislike her. <laughs> <laughs> you guys either, nor do I. No matter what our differences, we're all ponies. I didn't know unicorns could do that. I didn't either. Nothing like this has ever happened before. But I know it couldn't have been just me. It came from all three of us, joined together in friendship. Doesn't that Griffin know that she's supposed to fly at the Junior Speedster's flight camp? You look bad. Hey there, I'm Rainbow Dash. And you are. Uh. Gilda? You sure about that? Stick with me, Gilda, and those guys won't give you any more guff. solve Gryphonstone's problem. That's what I was trying to tell you. The map didn't send us here to find the lost idol of Boreas. It sent us here to replace it with something better. Nothing's better than gold to a Gryphon. That's because you don't have friendship. If you can learn to care about each other again, Gryphonstone could be a mightier kingdom than it ever was before. And you don't need some golden idol to do that. You just need each other. Whoa, Pinky. That was... Really sappy. Eh, what can I say? That's how I roll. <laughs> I am so grateful! I'm gonna go home and do my very, very best to bring Cutie Mark to see her values to Griffinstone! I promise! You've been planning this shindig for weeks. You know everything about these fellers. It's gonna be dandy. <sighs> You're right. Remember, Equestria and Yak Yakistan haven't opened their borders for hundreds of moons. In fact, Yak Yakistan is so far north of the Crystal Mountains, no pony's even been there. Imagine the look on Princess Celestia's face when she finds out we made friends with a Yak 
prince. <laughs> I'm calm. I'm calm. <laughs> Wow, Pinky, this came together quick, even for you. What can I say? I'm good at what I do. Prince Rutherford, every time we tried to make something in Equestria feel like Yak Yakistan, we couldn't get it right. When I got back from my adventure, I realized something. We shouldn't try to make Equestria feel like your home. We should try to make you feel at home in Equestria. And that means showing you why we love it here, so you'll love it too. Pink Pony worked hard to make Yaks feel at home. Now Yaks happy. No declare war. <sighs> Ponies and Yaks, friends? For a thousand moons? For a thousand moons! <laughs> Scales! Did that seaweed just talk? Ponies? What are they doing here? They're my friends. Friends? Dragons don't do friends. Well, this dragon does. Whatever. I don't care as long as none of you get in my way. I have a gauntlet to win. Dragon Lord Spike. Hmm. Has a nice ring to it. Dragon Lord Ember. Sounds a lot better. What? No, you're the Dragon Lord now. The Dragon Lord is whoever brings the scepter back to your father. Besides, you'll make a great leader. I was just doing this to protect the ponies. But I know you'll protect them just as well as I would have. You sure about this? Absolutely. My home is in Equestria with my friends. Well, you'll have at least one friend here, too. What are you doing? It's called a hug. Oh, I don't know if I like it. But, okay. Mm. Aww. You did well, Spike. With Ember as Dragon Lord, the ponies will be safe, and you've gained us a powerful ally. And a new friend. Plus, Ember said I could write to her any time I had questions about dragon culture. With this much information, I'll be able to write a whole book on dragons. No, wait! Come back! Unexpected. The ice is pretty slippery. I wouldn't want you to get hurt because of me. You saved me? It's okay. I know you don't want to be friends. Wait! I don't understand. Changelings are supposed to be evil, right? Evil? Oh, well, not me. All I've ever wanted is a friend. I understand, but I don't know what else we can do. I do! Spike! Uh, what are you doing? Get away from that thing! No, he's not a thing. His name is Thorax, and he's my friend. here in the Crystal Empire, and you just risked all of it for a friend. I can't imagine anything more brave than that. 
As the princess of friendship, I try to set an example for all of Equestria. But today, it was Spike who taught me that a new friend can come from anywhere. I guess every pony still has things to learn about friendship, even me. And if Spike says Thorax is his friend, then he's my friend too. Thank you. On behalf of the Crystal Empire, I would like to extend my hoof in friendship, and I'm sure all of my subjects are eager to do the same. <laughs> Inside me slipping away. I can't hold on to it much longer. Then don't! Sharing love is what made you different to begin with. You should share yours with Chrysalis! Give her all of it! changelings with no magic at all they found a new leader and they're all kind of good now i think they're gone they probably never want to see me again or they want to see you now guess what spike i know i'm so sorry let me talk about this i feel <laughs> mad Okay, that's a good first attempt. Now maybe try to be more specific. I'm uh, upset. You have every right to be. I know I do. And I know I need to tell you how I feel because my friend Thorax said it would make me feel better. And it does. Yeah, and I have no problem telling you what you did was wrong because my friend Ember is helping me be more certain. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should be mad at me. I was so worried about how it could go wrong, I didn't even think about how it could go right. Can you forgive me? I really do feel better. So, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> me too. Oh. Oh, again? <laughs> so, as a show of unity, I present the Dragonfire Flame of Friendship to both Dragon Lord Ember and Thorax, leader of the Changeling Pack. May the Flame of Friendship burn for eternity. <laughs> I know we cannot stay, but we've got a couple minutes and a little time to play. I know you have important things, so it's okay, just go. But we can still pick one small little thing to do with you, you know. One small thing, so much we can create. You and me, we started something great. It's so amazing. Look around at all the happy sights and sounds. One small thing is big, it's true. You did this all for us. I just wish there was one small thing, an extra special kind of thing that we could do. Karen that talks? 
Any idea where I should look? Oh, for the love of Celestia! Can't you just say something? <laughs> gotcha! Sorry, sorry, but that was too good. Oh, you don't know how much I miss jokes. Hi, Larity. Am I pronouncing that right? Some words I haven't said in a will? While, while. Hi, I'm Autumn Blaze. You've just arrived, and perhaps you're tired or hungry or reflective and want to sleep and eat and journal, which you should do, of course. But first, oh, oh, what joy to talk with another creature. It's been so long. You must tell me everything about you. There's so much to say, so much to do. Oh, look at me. I'm going on, and you haven't seen. I mean, have you seen? What, um, what am I saying? Of course you haven't. So just, uh, I will just follow me. That was something, all right. Where are they taking us? <sighs> to the stream of silence. If we hit that water, we'll never be able to talk or feel anything ever again. <gasps> Put them down. It's all right. I think I know this one, and she's trying to help. Well, yeah. Can't have them silence the only friend who'll speak to me. She talks? You have no idea. Fluttershy, meet Autumn Blaze. <gasps> you found them? Where were they? Tell me everything and feel free to add complicated descriptions and comedic tangents. Oh, right. First things first. to mention. It's not just poems. <laughs> that was unexpected. Oh, students certainly traveled from far and wide to attend our school. Princess Celestia helped me reach out to all the kingdoms. After all, friendship is something that needs to be shared with every creature. The School of Friendship is for all of us A place where we belong Where we all learn to share and trust The only rule here is to find your way And friendship always wins at the end of the day What happened? Can I open my eyes? You sure can! shield will hold. I don't understand. How are you all here? That's kind of our fault. You know those long lectures about friendship you gave at school? <laughs> story of hearts warming Eve. We can defeat the Wendigos together. You really think if we all sing a couple songs, everything will be fine? It's not just singing that saved the founders of Equestria. It's what it represented. Earth ponies, unicorns, and Pegasi becoming friends. We learned at Twilight School that friendship is the most powerful magic there is. Focusing on our differences keeps us divided. Villains and creatures like the Wendigos use that division against us. Yaks strong, ponies strong, but yaks and ponies stronger together. Yaks must be loyal to pony friends. I know helping other creatures by being kind and generous sounds lame, but I've seen how powerful it can be. Playing together, singing together, even laughing together. That's what real heroes look like. Were we really happy by ourselves at the bottom of the ocean? Be honest. It's the ponies that showed us a better way. They've taught us how powerful love and the magic of friendship truly is. 
We can't let them stand alone. We're their friends. They need us. I got here as soon as I could, but Friendship Ambassador is a full-time job these days. Making peace between Abyssinians and the Diamond Dogs has not been easy. Good job, Spike. Spike, you are such a little star. Spike, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Spike. Don't know what I'd do without you.